All right, friends, in this video, we are opening up a Bloomborough bundle with, now with nine play boosters. I have not opened a Bloomborough bundle, I don't believe. Uh, our previous video, we did a pre release, I guess that's a bundle, pre release set, whatever you want to call it, pre release pack. Um, but I think it's the first Bloomborough bundle. So I bought this a bit ago. Um, pop. And then I uh, got some secret layers in that got distracting me and uh, never really got around to open this. So it's been sitting on my desk. So it seemed like an opportune time. Right where we're uh, taking a little breather here. Duskmorn just came out. I haven't done any of those videos yet. Um, yeah, it seems like a good time to sit back and say goodbye to Bloomborough. At least for now. I do hope they'll bring us back to this plane in, at some point. Fantastic. See what all the fuzz is about. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. We got Chandra here in the background. Lovely box, as always. You can't fault Wizards of the Coast Art Department. Not here. They did a fantastic job on the art and start and vision direction for this set. I think it's immensely cool. Alright, we got ourselves Otterman. Otterman. Why do I pop these guys out? Well, I sometimes use them uh, when I'm shipping cards out. So I don't mention it all the time, but I do have a TCG player store. Um, and some of the cards from all these polls that I do that I don't want to keep, I'll put up there on my TCG player store to sell. Um, so if you want whatever rare is in this play booster, and if it's one that I, for some reason, don't happen to want myself, uh, it'll be up there in a few days. And, uh, yeah, check it out. Um, there's a link in my channel bio if you want to take a look at what's up there. I've got a couple hundred cards up there right now you can check out. And, uh, and yeah, if you, you know, order some cards from me, if I have some of these lying around, I tend to include them as just some more, you know, thanks for ordering kind of things. All right, um, so what are we gonna do with this bundle? Let's start off with, let's start off with the land pack. That should be nothing exciting in here, but gotta be thorough and open this sucker up. All right, so we have a, ooh, that's nice. Oh wait, it's only three. Where's my last season? Oh, really, they just included, they can't be, that can't be right. Three of the seasons for each of the... Well, that's sad. Three of the seasons for each of the lands. That seems like a shame. They couldn't have added, you know, one more of each to, to give us the full season set. Cheap bastards. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. All right, so... I was excited for a second. I'm like, oh, nice. One of each season. I don't have to look for them. Nope. All right, so our promo card is the uh, Thunderclap Trainer, Rare, Auto Wizard, Bumble Promo. Can't really argue with that. And let's see, we're going to do it again, right? Oh, it's mixed up. Oh, look at that. So it's one of each full art in foil and then the regular art in foil huh okay that's way that's different that's different okay so we got our one bundle rare we'll start out with that and now nine play boosters let's see how we do how do we do? All right. Pearl of Wisdom. Rabbit Response. Steam Path Charger. Scales of Shale. Polywallop. Not gonna lie, I've used that cards a number of times in draft. Polywallop. Patchwork Banner. Man. Obviously, in the right deck, this could be a big deal. It hasn't blown up like I thought it would, but still a good card. Oh my gosh. 
Old man yells at Cloud. I can't believe this is a five mana five five with reach trample haste in red. It's just insane. We're down. Got ourselves a. Oh, all right. Not bad. Wizard Warlock rare. Got ourselves a full art island. Very pretty. And a rare common. And a rat. All right. Putting that land aside. Long time watchers know I'm a sucker for full art lands. Hope we can get the full set so I don't have to go up on TCG player to finish it off. Ooh, I'm packed in one open. All right. Brawl. What a cool perspective, right? Finch formation. Conduct electricity. Crumb and get it. Ho, ho, ho. Dagger Fang duel. Head of the homestead. Expensive card. One less mana. This would have been a beast. I feel like it's a bit much where it's at. Bit much. Another patchwork. Interesting. Thought Stalker. Warlock. Cool. Gossip Talent. Talents are neat in this. Oh, right. We got a Restless. Sorry. Relentless. Ren... Vren, Vren, the Relentless, Rat Rogue. Say that five times. Rat Rogue, Rat Rogue. Got ourselves Full Art Island non foil and a Stargaze foil. That's nice Swordmaster. The Offspring tokens are. Oh, wait, we didn't put our rare aside. Whoopsies. The Offspring tokens are different. I'm not sure how I feel about those those are really necessary or not. I know they help, but it's pretty random getting an offspring token for some just random creature that you don't happen to have. <laughs> right? Crumb and get it. I know they're trying to fix the, uh, somehow fix what tokens you get to match better what cards you get. Um, but still. They haven't done it yet, so... Still kind of confusing, at least for Brimbro. Cultivator. We'll pick up here as we kind of comment on some of the my favorite cards. We don't need to comment on them again. I use this one a lot. I don't know. Apparently, be the only person playing with it, but I think it's a fun card. I guess the two of two white turn people off. Hey, we got our first mythic of the box. Warren War Leader. Good old Rabbit Knight. That strong knight subtype. And uh, rabbit type. That's a fun hit. All right, we got ourselves another full art swamp. Got ourselves a flower foot swordmaster, foil, mouse soldier, and a bat. Bat. Put that swamp aside. Put those guys over there. Moving on. So one mythic so far. Drew to the spade. Shore up. Life Creed Duo. Take out the trash. Ravine Raider. Moonrise Cleric. Nightfisher. I wonder if that's a throwback to Kingfisher. Peter remembers Kingfisher. Anyone else old enough to remember Kingfisher? That's a cool bat. All right. Coming up on the rare here, got ourselves the Worry Wart, Frog Druid. He's fun. Played with him in draft. It's a fun card. Put him down. Ooh. Also got ourselves a Valley Knight Might Craw Caller. <laughs> Valley Might Caller in showcase style. Very pretty. This is a showcase style I like. Doesn't detract from the card. Still readable. Love the art style. Big fan. Nicely done, wizards. Got ourselves a full art forest. Got ourselves a foil nettle guard. And an art card. Yay, art cards. Ooh. Which card is that? Ah, yes, Season of Loss. Part of the season cycle. I said in my last video, but I guess I'll repeat. 
repeat myself. One of the things I miss about set boosters is art cards everywhere. I'm one of the few probably folks that enjoy art cards, maybe. At least I get the sense that they're not popular given that they've taken them away a lot. That's what, one in three packs now, I think? Is that about right for an art card? Oh, poor Bill. Man, these cards, they have kind of a, I don't know, like a waxy feel. They're definitely not, I don't have a box here, definitely not uh, as nice as some of the collector boosters we've been opening recently. Where does it say where these ones were made? Magic by blah blah blah. I don't know if it's going to tell me here. And I don't think anyone actually cares, except for me. But, uh, I'll have to look later. Anywho, I got an interesting feel. You kind of see my, I'm sticking a little bit in my hands. I think that's just the mat, the waxy feel I'm getting on them. See what I mean? It's not, I don't know. Festival of Embers. Not a big loss that I dropped that card. <laughs> Full art planes. And a duo. Does this one tell me anywhere? Do 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 blah blah blah. He includes what's its name? Magic design by. It's probably in the box. Oh well. I'm gonna guess these. Yep, made in USA. Okay, I was right. Yeah, so the draft boxes back when those were a thing used to be made in USA, and I found them to be a noticeable decrease in quality compared to the ones that are made in Japan. A lot of the collector boosters are made in Japan, and it's just a slightly different card stock. The printing's a little crisper. The colors pop a little more, in my opinion. Um, just something you notice when you, especially when you're comparing them against, maybe you have some in Japan, some in the U.S., some in Belgium. Um, I felt like the cheaper products, the, the bundles and the draft boosters were made in the U.S., where the set boosters and the collector boosters used to be more of a made in Japan kind of thing. I guess the set boost, the play boosters here, at least in the bundle, made in America. I'll have to pop open a play booster box and see if if that's the case there too it's not bad quality by any means but um, feathers of flight they're not bad quality they're just not as nice there's just something raccoon rogue full art oh hoo -hoo. that's a happy hit Maha in Feathers Nigh. Got ourselves a foil mythic. Flying trample. Six five five. I mean in old magic players are very confused what they're seeing right now. But that's just where we're at with Magic the Gathering. Um, this is a traditional foil, so it's probably gonna bend in about five seconds, but let's enjoy it while it's not bent. Alright, that was a nice hit. So what do we have? Two mythics so far? That works. Take it. My dad always says better than a kick in the teeth. I'd be very interested now if other play boosters from play booster boxes are all made in the US as well. We'll have to see. Alright, Pathmaker. Pearl of Wisdom. Nettle Guard. Throat Builder's Talent. Haven't seen that one yet. Ah, uh, yes. This card is a royal pain in my butt. As if Red, Red Haste, Red Rush, Red Aggro, whatever you want to call it, didn't have enough toys already. And they give it this guy Star Charter. All right, we got ourselves a Cosmos Collar as a rare, beautiful Bat Cleric critical piece of the, the bat decks that are going around right now. Got ourselves a second rare, Forager, Squirrel Ranger, 2 mana, 2-2, two, two, add 1, add 2 mana of any colors or forage. Can't really complain about that. It's a really strong squirrel card. 
people still play squirrel decks, just like straight up squirrels? Back in the Urza days, that used to be something we did. All right, full art. Then I already spoiled our foil common and the Craig flame. I'm doing a terrible job <laughs> of pulling cards today. All right, two more packs to go. We've flown through these 15 and a half minutes in so far. Thistle down players, hopefully you're still with me. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, how you think we did, uh, what you thought of Bloomborough. If you're gonna miss it as we move on to Duskmorn, I think I will. Man, Duskmorn looks OP though, right? There are some bonkers cards in that. Holy moly. But I think we'll look back at Bloomborough and uh, think of enjoyable times. What a cool vehicle. Gale Wind Moose. Mabel's Metal. A lot of tongue twister cards. Fabled Passage. This card's getting a bit of play. You can see why. That's a that's a fun fun card. Got ourselves full art swamper. Shrike Force. And again, we get two art cards in this, and they're both seasonal loss. That's a bit odd. All right, friends, last pack of this Bloomboro bundle. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. You've enjoyed opening these along with me. Uh, we got two Mythics so far. It's not too shabby. A um, bunch of useful rares. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel out. Gets more people. Gets these videos in front of the eyes of more people. If uh, you let the old YouTube know that that you have halfway enjoyed this. So definitely like and And if you can subscribe, that would be appreciated. As uh, cliche as that is, it really, really does help. All right. Coming down to the wire here, into the uncommons, Calamitous Tide. Blacksmith Talent. Herbalist. Wix Patrol. Oh, we haven't got that one yet. Season of Weaving, our third mythic in the last pack. The blue season cycle. With the little paw prints. <laughs> I'm, I still think they could have come up with something better than that. But it's a cool mechanic. But, I don't know. Paw prints, really. Oh well. Full Art Planes. Run away together, common foil, and to close this out, an arena card. Womp, womp, womp. Overall, though, we didn't do half bad. Um, we got ourselves one foil mythic and a couple non-foil mythics. So that's all right. And then we got our promo bundle, our pr bundle promo rare, and then one showcase rare, and uh, yeah, a couple other useful rares that, that see some play. So overall, I think we did okay. Um, decent, decent number of full art lands too, which makes makes Peter happy. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.